Alright, so just when I thought Nike couldn't come up with any more outlandish themes or gimmicks to attach to the Nike Dunk silhouette, they proved me wrong and they brought a theme from straight out of left field and this is something that I have never seen before on the Nike Dunk so I'm very appreciative of them switching it up and I feel like the execution on this sneaker was very close to flawless. Only a couple things I thought could have been better but nonetheless I'm very excited to have these in the studio for you guys today to do an early review so without further ado, here are the Nike Dunk Low barber shop in the gray colorway. Welcome back in everyone. I hope all of you are doing well and having a blessed day out there. My name is Chris Young and whether this is your first time stumbling upon my channel or you are one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for taking a little time out of your day to watch one of my videos. It does not go unnoticed and I can't thank all of you enough for your continued support. So as I stated in the intro of today's video, today's topic of discussion is on an early pair of Nike Dunks that I was very excited to get in. I was very impressed by the images that I saw online and I wanted to see if this specific colorway lived up to the hype and paid homage the right way to all of the barbers out there. So we are gonna be talking about the Nike Dunk Low Barbershop in this gray colorway. We're gonna go over the craftsmanship, sizing, everything that goes into this sneaker as far as the intricate details Details. And of course, at the end of the video, I'm going to provide you guys with a nice on foot so you guys can know whether or not you want to cop this sneaker on the aftermarket. So with all of that out of the way, thank you guys again for watching today. And let's go ahead and dive right into this review, guys. First things first, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this box, guys. And with this sneaker being associated with barbershops, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting Nike to go above and beyond when it came to the packaging of this sneaker, but unfortunately, they did not do that. These do come in your standard Nike sportswear box done in red with your Nike logos plastered all over the box as well. And once we take a look at the sizing tag of this sneaker, it does read Nike Dunk Low Retro SE. SE meaning special edition, which also could mean elevated material products on the sneaker. So that's always great to see when it comes to the Nike Dunk Low silhouette. And the official colorway for this sneaker is Iris Whisper, white and chili red. You will not see a retail suggested tag on the end of this sizing tag because these have yet to see a release date. But as I do receive more information about this gray colorway, as well as that black tumbled leather colorway releasing, I will be sure to keep all of you updated down in the description with a pinned comment so you guys have the best chance to pick these up for retail. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at everything the Nike Dunk Low Retro Barbershop Gray has to offer for us. Getting things started on the toe box of this sneaker, it is comprised of this very thin gray suede with our typical perforations that we find on every Nike Dunk. And then on the outer edge of the toe box, we have this gray suede as well. Now serving as the lace dubre for these sneakers and probably the most defining feature of this dunk in general, we do have this golden clipper blade which features Nike branding in the center and I feel like this feature adds an extreme amount of flair to an already out there colorway. Progressing up this sneaker, we do get these standard flat white laces, but at the end of the laces, we are met with a very nice additive detail when it comes to the aglets. We have mismatch aglets done in red and then the other in blue. Underneath this, we have a gray nylon tongue, but at the very top of the tongue, we have this white stitch tag which features our Nike branding done in this laser blue color. Turning our attention to the mid panels of this sneaker, we have more of that soft gray suede, but overlaid on top of this, we have a texturized white Nike swoosh done in this honeycomb fashion. Making our way to the back of this sneaker, the heel does utilize this thicker cut of gray suede, but two intriguing details that Nike decided to add is this chiseled golden brown design, which wraps all the way around the heel, as well as this traditional piping, which pays homage to the barbershop pole done in red, white, and blue. And the rest of the heel is capped off in this white ballistic mesh, Nike branding done in laser blue, as well as alternating stitch lines done in red and blue. 
The upper of this sneaker sits atop of your standard white rubber midsole, and just to provide another bit of color pop to this sneaker, Nike opts to go with this light teal outsole. And I don't know if it's just me, guys, but when looking at all of the gray panels on this sneaker, as well as the light teal outsole, these kind of give me the vibe of like a Nike Air Mag as well. So go ahead and sign up down below in the comments section if I'm crazy, or maybe if you guys can see that comparison as well. So when it comes to the sizing of the Nike Dunk Low Silhouette, I often recommend to just go true to size with this sneaker. I feel like true to size is your best option. If you have the chance to try on a Nike Dunk Low in store, you're probably gonna feel that way as well. The only time it differs really is when you're purchasing Nike SBs, and that is due mostly in part to Nike SBs having a thicker tongue, but with these, they have a normal size tongue. And as far as the comfort goes on these, it's not anything to marvel over. This is outdated technology. Technology. If you are getting a Nike Dunk in this day and age, you are getting it more for styling purposes, not for exemplary comfort on this sneaker. So I feel like if you go true to size, you should be good to go and you'll probably have a really good time wearing this sneaker once the break-in process is fully done. All right, guys, so now that we've wrapped up the review of these sneakers, I just want to give my final thoughts on this Nike Dunk Low Barbershop in this gray colorway. In my opinion, I feel like Nike did a very exquisite job of providing the consumer with a nice representation of what goes on in the barbershop, and this theme was very well executed in my opinion. My favorite feature has to be the golden lace dubre, which obviously serves as a clipper blade. I feel like without that feature, this sneaker wouldn't have been half of what it was, so that was very great thinking on Nike's part to provide us with this. Let me know what you guys think about this sneaker as well, especially all of the barbers out there. Do you think that Nike did the barbershop name justice with these? Let me know if you feel like this is the better colorway compared to its black tumbled leather counterpart. I'm just really glad that I was able to bring you guys this review early. So thank you guys again for watching today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw today, leave me a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because we are very close to 4,000 subscribers subscribers and with the help of all of you we can easily surpass that milestone i just always like to give you guys your flowers because without your support this channel would essentially be nothing so thank you guys so much for your continuous support i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and throw these on feet stay safe stay blessed and i will see you guys on the next video